Hi, today we're going to go over a quick network overview on our new Titanium interface. Go on the bottom left to your menu, then you go into settings. You're going to see our new modular design, which is easy to access. Let's click on the network. Under network, here are your settings so you can change your IP address, subnet mask, gateway, preferred DNS, and altered DNS. Below that, you will have your PPPoE settings. If you have a DSL line and you only have a modem, by enable PPPoE, you can connect the MBR directly to your modem and it will connect directly to the internet. Internal Ethernet port. This is the PoE port on the back of the MBR unit. So this will give and assign an IP address to each IP camera that you connect on the back of the MBR. Now, let's go on the port. These are the ports required by the MBR in order for you to see it remotely or locally. You can change them as you like. Let's go under DDNS. Under DDNS, if you enable, you can create a free account of DDNS so you can watch your MBR remotely anytime, anywhere, without having to worry that your IP address change. Let's go under email. On the email settings, this is where you can set up your email account settings in order for the MBR to send you any type of alarm or trigger or motion detect that you set up under camera motion settings. Let's go over UPnP. UPnP is a way to bypass port forwarding by enabling it, but make sure that your router supports UPnP. You could also set the UPnP to auto or manual. Let's go over to NAT. By enabling NAT, you will be able to bypass the port forwarding and scan the QR code that is on a new Titanium interface so you can set up remote viewing in minutes. Let's go over to Telnet. Telnet is a service that was requested by many people to be enabled or disabled. This feature is only for integrators or installers. Now, let's go over the network status. Under the network status, you will be able to see everything related to the network settings of the MBR, including the total bandwidth you're using, the remaining, and how much bandwidth each IP camera is using. This concludes our network settings on our new Titanium interface. Thank you for watching.